Hey guys, this is Hyder from Max Trades, and in this video, we'll be going over um, the general market and the best looking names for next week, and any general themes in general. Um, to start off, we'll take a look at the indices as usual. We got the SPY chart pulled up right here, and uh, yeah, let's start looking at it. Let's take a look at the weekly chart first. So first thing, the the uptrend has definitely been broken, but we are getting a really we formed a really nice hammer candle this week, and we were able to close above that 427 level, which is very very important. Um, so there's a very good chance that we could bounce back here, but the uptrend is still broken, so there is going to be a lot more work that has to be done. But this is a really good first step, really nice hammer candle on the weekly chart. So. Um, yeah, that's a big positive and holding that 427 level is a big positive Let's take a look at the daily chart and Friday is what really saved us um, so it's pretty much uh, To start the week to start last week. We just pulled in um, pretty slowly slow grind down and then we consolidated for a couple of days and then Friday was um, an expansion bar and we were able to break the mini downtrend that has been forming the last couple of days so that's a very good positive um but now we have to see if we can get follow through and uh, potentially make a rally back up to that 432 level that would be like the first level of resistance and then consolidate for a little bit and then potentially um, move out higher right so that would be a very good thing um for both but yeah overall the market looks okay but we really want to see that 432 level get taken out next week and then continue to push up. But uh, yeah, good start to the reversal and really nice weekly uh, hammer, as I said before. Now we'll take a look at QQQ. Tech has been holding up a lot better. Let's take a look at the weekly chart first. Yeah, so tech definitely has been holding up better. And... Uh, it's a really nice undercut and reverse reversal. So we undercut the previous lows um, last last week, and then this week we uh, ended up reversing. So really nice action, and we were able to close above the three sixty one support level. So that's a, a resistance level. So that's good. Um, that's a very yeah good positive. So we were consolidating under the this level for quite some time. Tried to rally, rejected. Tried to rally rejected we consult we are, this was more consolidation but and then on friday we finally broke out um and we got a strong close and we did that with good volume so very bullish action very bullish action on tech names in general so uh tech could potentially be ready for another leg up here and uh yeah next uh, and we were able to fill the gap so that's another very good positive and uh, next um level of resistance is that 370 level and then if we can get back above that, then 382. But let's go back to the weekly chart, see if I missed anything. But yeah. And on the weekly chart, it looks like we're starting to form like a longer term bull flag here, potentially. Um, not sure how that how that will play out, but um, yeah, that's another potential scenario. So overall, the market still does look really, really good. Uh, if you look at the longer term picture, this looks like one big bull flag, right? So yeah, we'll see what happens, but overall really good action last week. Now let's take a look at the big cap tech stocks. Start off with Tesla. Go to the weekly chart. Move all these lines. So Tesla is forming a pretty nice flag here. Yeah, so Tesla's forming a pretty nice flag. It could use a couple more weeks of consolidation, tighten up a little bit more, and then break out. Um, but yeah, overall, Tesla looks pretty good here. And then on the daily chart, we have a really nice setup here for Monday, uh, forming a little mini flag here. And if it can take that out, there's a very good chance that we could uh, make a um, run up to 275-ish, I think. Yeah, 275. Um, and then after that, then the 300 level, and if that 300 level gets taken out, then there's a very good chance that we could make a much bigger move, right? But Tesla looks pretty healthy here. Um, yeah, overall, looks pretty good. There is some resistance at that 261 level, so if we can take that out, that would be 
um, really good. And then we could see a move back up to 275, which is what I'm looking for next week. Um, next up, Apple. Take a look at Apple on the weekly chart first. So Apple um, definitely broke that uptrend, but that was quite some time ago now. So I'm going to remove this line. Um, there is a downtrend line forming here, and we could potentially break that. Um, yeah, this could also be one big bull flag, like I drew on the uh, week or weekly chart of the QQQ. Um, same thing for Apple, right? This could all be one big bull flag, and uh, if it breaks that bull flag, then we could be ready for the next leg up. Let's take a look at the daily chart. Um, Apple was showing nice relative strength all week long. Um, yeah, it didn't give back any gains, and it had a close green every single uh, day this week or last week. So that's really good. And if Apple can take out that 177 level, the next, next um, resistance level would be 181. But yeah, overall, Apple does look pretty healthy here. It's just consolidating right now. It's stuck between this range. But yeah, 177 level gets taken out. 181 is the next target. Next up, Amazon. Let me remove this fib. Take a look at the weekly chart here. Let me draw some levels real quick. So Amazon also did break its uh, uptrend line quite some time ago now, but Amazon is holding on to that 126 support level pretty well. So that's a big positive there. Um, yeah, and if it can bounce off that 126 level, next level if resistance would be 133 and then after that 141 let's take a look at the daily chart yeah amazon seems to be forming a very tight flag here on the daily so this could be a good trade opportunity um a couple more days of consolidation and then it could make a big move to the upside or downside but yeah amazon looks pretty good here for a short-term um expansion move um next up we'll take a look at google google very strong um, it looks like it wants to make new 52 week highs and it looks like it wants, it wants to take out that 140 level and then make a push up to 144. But yeah, Google looks really good here. One of the, one of the stronger pickup tech stocks. Um, yeah, on the weekly chart, I'm seeing the same exact thing. If we, if we can take out that 140 level, um, which Google looks like it wants to do, then good chance that we'll see 144 very quickly. Next up, Netflix. So Netflix also broke the uptrend line, and this week got a little bit of a bounce, but not too much. Um, Netflix has been just slow grind, slow grind lower um, every day for a while now, but it did break that downtrend today. So that could be bullish um, levels I have for Netflix. Let me draw some. So there's definitely some resistance around that 384 level. So if that can get taken out, there's a good chance. Netflix could make a move back up to 420. Um, and that would actually be a very good risk reward trade. So now uh, this could potentially be something to watch out for next week. Um, yeah, next up, NVIDIA. NVIDIA looks really good here. It reclaimed its uptrend. It initially tried to reclaim it here, but rejected, and then it finally reclaimed today uh, or on Friday. But really good action. We reclaimed that 452 level as well. Really good action. Um, next level would be 480. But uh, yeah, Nvidia is definitely the strongest stock in the market right now. Um, no debate. And this is where you definitely want to put your money. Or right, this is definitely where you would you would want to put your money if you're looking into like big cap tech stocks. Um, but yeah. Next up, Microsoft. Microsoft had a nice bounce off 309 and uh, has resistance at 325 and it took that out on Friday so really good action there and next level would be 344. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. I'm seeing the same thing here. I see a bull flag here forming. If it can break out, if it can break that downtrend or yep. Yeah, if you can break that bull flag or downtrend, then there's a very good chance that Microsoft can explode and make a, another leg up higher. A really good action here as well. Next up, Meta. 
Meta had Meta has had a killer year so far. Insanely strong rally. Um and it took out that 306 level, which was a really significant resistance level. And uh, now it looks like it has clear skies to 325 and then after that 350. Meta looks really, really good here. Um yeah, whoa. Like I was saying before, had a lot of resistance around that 306 area and it finally took that out on Friday. And if it can form a bull flag, then this would be a top watch. Um, next up, AMD. So AMD looks like it's finally starting to break its downtrend here. This has been forming for quite some time now. So this is really good action from AMD and it's finally back in play. So let's take a look at the weekly chart. Yeah. AMD finally broke that downtrend. So this one can can I yeah, this one has a lot of potential here now. And I think it can make a really big move. Um first target would be around that uh, 122 level. And after that we can get back to um U52 week highs, which is around the 130 level. But AMD looks really good and this will be a top focus name for me in the coming weeks since I finally broke that really long um downtrend line. And now let's take a look at ARKK, see how growth stocks are doing. Cancel these. So ARKK definitely broke its uh, uptrend and this week it formed the hammer. So that is a positive, but let's take a look at the daily chart. Um, it looks like it's trying to form a bottom here, uh, potentially, but still really weak action. It needs to reclaim that 42 level ASAP. Um, for it to like start building a trend, but I would say next level of resistance would be that 40 level. So if it can take that out, that would be bullish. But overall, ARKK still looks really, really weak here. So this would definitely be an avoid for me. Um, now let's take a look at some stocks that have been performing well recently. So PDD is one name that had a really, really nice breakout. Um, this was an A plus setup. But I avoided it because it was a China name, so it's riskier. But this was a really nice flag sub and really strong breakout on Friday. And if it can uh, consolidate for a little bit or form a bull flag and pull back, then this would be a top watch. Next up, CrowdStrike. So software, name, software names and um, cloud names have been acting really, really well so far or, or recently. So CrowdStrike has been acting really well so far since 2023. Uh, it formed a nice base here and then broke out and then it retested a couple times, formed another mini base here and then broke out again on Friday. And this was a really big bar for CrowdStrike. Normally it doesn't make 7% moves, but yeah, this was a really big day. So on the weekly chart, it's starting to look like it's, it's ready for a bigger rally. And uh, yeah, this one looks really good and has no resistance to that, that 195 level. So this is definitely a top watch. Uh, Palantir, another software name that's been acting really well. Um, so yeah, Palantir has had trouble with that 15.85 level. It took that out last week, but then rejected again, and now it finally closed strong above that level. So this is really good. Um, next level would be that uh, 17 resistance level. And if we can take that out, then very good chance that we could see a move back up to $20. Uh, a lot of potential in this name, so definitely keep this one on your watch list but again um, software names have been acting really well and one more software name uh, Palo Alto Networks this one had a really nice flag set up here and then broke on Friday and this one looks like it can uh, it has room to make new 52 week highs first resistance level 255 here 254 255 and then 258 and then it can make a new 52 week highs but like I said before, software is the new theme here, and a lot of these software names have been breaking out, so they should definitely be top watch. Uh, VRT, another uh, tech-related name. This one had a really nice breakout on Friday, and it looks like it wants to make new all-time highs. Um, it would potentially be a good spot to add if you already have a position around that 40 40.25 level. So it's definitely a top watch. Um, and next... CLS, last but not least, CLS. Um, CLS had insane volume. Um, the weekly chart, really big volume, right? This is definitely a sign that institutions are buying, and uh, you definitely want to 
pay attention to this stock because yeah the stock has been acting incredibly strong ever since that gap up it's been forming a nice flag here formed a nice flag over over here over here and then it broke out formed another nice flag here broke out another nice flag here broke out and formed another flag here and broke out so this one just continues to show lots of strength so this is definitely one that you want to keep on your radar it's definitely a little bit extended here now so you want to give it some rest but this is definitely a top watch name and uh it had a really big base it's been basing for like almost 20 years so when things like these break out they tend to make huge moves so yeah definitely keep this one on your radar but that's all i got for this week thank you guys for tuning in